we use at our company CVS, so I uh, used uh, uh, CVS for this uh, uh, um, uh, presentation. But there are other uh, um, source control systems. Um, one question, are there, what are you doing in your company? Are you designers, uh, developers, all? Also 853, also um, on the latest versions. Yeah, I, I saw a tweet about uh, someone uh, still on uh, uh, Note 4, so, so. Um, okay, um, a small agenda, uh, introduction, uh, some, um, some details about uh, CV, um, source control, and then I will dive into the, um, uh, uh, the code. Um, got a lot of slides, but um, I, will, I don't want to uh, show them all. Um, you can get them uh, later, and then step by step you can uh, perform it by yourself. Um, I will try it. Uh, I will. I will show it um, directly from the designer uh, as a live demo, and uh, I think it's uh, better than 50 slides. And so afterwards, um, I will give it to uh, the organization, and then you can download it from the site. Um, this is me. Um, I'm an XPage developer. I started as an, uh, as an admin in, um, in 4.5. After two months, I, think, I thought this development is uh, nicer and um, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's better for me. Uh, so it will be, uh, it, 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 it's, uh, uh, afterwards, uh, Lotus Notes, um, Domino, and uh, the late, uh, the last uh, two years, mostly XPage development. So I started at uh, 850 when XPages uh, um, was emerging from, uh, uh, of introduced uh, into um, um, Lotus Notes. So uh, it was uh, in, uh, in the beginning it was lots of trial, trial and error, um, no documentation at all. So it was uh, fun. Um, and in spare time, I'm running uh, a lot, uh, and I mean a lot. Um, I work at the eOffice. It's a business partner of um, um, IBM. We were the first Lotus business partner in the Netherlands, and we have several flavors uh, in our company. Not only IBM, also Microsoft. So it's also al always in our company uh, a battle between the big uh, between the big. Uh, 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 retailers of uh, um, software, our uh, software, um, and uh, we're also a big uh, partner of uh, RIM, uh, BlackBerry development. Okay, what is source control? Um, yeah, I thought it's uh, it's difficult to um, explain. Um, so uh, there's a uh, source uh, at uh, at the, at the uh, lower part of the slide. Um, it's a management. Um, environment. You can um, change this um, made somewhere. You can um, uh, uh, collect it at a, at a server, at, an, at a central um, uh, repository, and um, get your um, code there. The latest code is there, <coughs> always stored. Um, revision control became, more, um, became much more uh, important after um, uh, introducing of uh, complicated uh, computing. Uh, and um, this is uh, how it's um, a normal source control um, diagram with trends and branches and merges. I'll come later. Um, there are other source controls. We use CVS. When I told uh, some XPace developers we use CVS, uh, they're laughing because it's a very, very old um, source control system, but it's very stable. It's, it's so stable that um, last week I um, asked our uh, admins if, if uh, CVS is, has been backupped. Um, no. Um, for 10 years it was not backupped. Any, um, so um, it, it, it was running all, uh, almost 10 years without backup. And the Java developers uh, in, in our company uh, were very um, uh, were not amused to know that there was no backup because all, uh, all their source control of all, all their um, 
their, uh, their code uh, are inside. So when CPS uh, should fa um, would fail, then they have nothing. Um, a newer one is Subversion. Um, at OpenNTF we use it. Um, um, and the, 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 the latest are Mercurial and uh, Git. Uh, Git has also GitHub and it's on the web and it's very happy, uh, very uh, popular. But there are many more, many more uh, uh, source control systems. There are lots of it. So that's why I use CVS. We use it uh, in our company. Um, install the CVS connectors. That's the only part I uh, do not um, um, demonstrate because it uh, takes a while because of uh, uh, it's, a, it's a remote install and uh, you have to um, uh, have a good connection to the uh, um, to the server to get your um, um, to get your latest code. But as you, well, I will show it. Is it hmm. not so nice screenshot? I will show it, uh, but my uh, my uh, um, connectors are already on installed. But I will let's show the the start of it. You go to um, files, then application. Where's my mouse? There is my mouse. Um, and install. Um, normally in a fresh install, it's not there, install. Uh, you cannot install directly and application management is not uh, uh, present. When you want to install, then you go to the preferences and dominate designer. And there's a tick box. You can enable Eclipse plugin install. When you uh, tick enable it, then it will be there. So you go to applications, install. Okay. Bless you. That's why it takes. Um, you, um, you select a search for new feature uh, features to install. Then you add a remote uh, location. Mm, the remote location is it's in the slides. So um, when you select this, then you should uh, se select the uh, the server and go finish. I will show it on the slides uh, how it's as you can see here the the slides um, when you click finish um, you get an install um, um, you get um, an overview of what can be installed and on the uh, Ganymede um, website are lots of plugins to install. Um, first, you in, uh, in between, you get an, um, uh, a message. Um, there are mirror sites. Maybe uh, they, they select an, um, an, an, uh, a site for you, um, a remote uh, website. But um, maybe in Italy, in Italy is uh, another um, uh, closer by. So. You can change um, your update site here. Then you get an um, you get an overview of everything to install, and there are lots of it. You can also uh, see plus plus development and lots of plugins. Um, you need the collaboration tools and then the Eclipse CVS CVS client. As you can see, there is an um, Red mark, warning, and in the, at the top is also that there are other, um, other plugins are required. So afterwards you select required and um, 
it will be uh, uh, also selected and it will be. When you click on next, you get some warnings. Um, your license, you get, uh, you have to accept. Yeah, you want to install, so. Of course you accept and you go to next. You get an overview of the, um, of the plugins were installed. You click finish and the connectors uh, will be installed. And that, that takes some time because it's a remote control, a remote site and uh, you're, uh, it's, a, it's how your um, um, internet access. Afterwards, you, get, you will be prompted that um, Lotus Notes will be, um, should be restarted. So restart it and um, you're done. Um, I remember that um, it will only the it's, it's only available for 853. I, re uh, I remember that. Uh, in October 2011, 853 was introduced, and uh, before it was possible to use the, uh, ex um, the the source control features, but it was very um, uh, difficult to install. Uh, with 853, it was it was almost out of the box. Only the uh, only the connectors you should uh, install. Any questions? When there are questions, immediately ask the questions and I try to answer them. Okay, when your uh, connectors are installed, you can set up connection uh, connections to your source control. Um, that's nice to show. Um, switch to the, you've got in the top uh, window um, perspectives and views. Perspectives are, uh, are like the domino designers perspective. Um, you also have views and you need the CVS, um, where is he? CVS repositories, you mean. Where is the repository? As, uh, as a perspective, you can uh, select a CVS uh, repository. So you go to Windows, Open Perspective, Others, and there's a list of uh, perspectives you can select. And you can select a CVS repository, and it will be opened. To add an uh, You need a host. In my case, it's this. You re need an, uh, reposit a repository path, um, the, 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 the root of the repository. And you need an, you, normally you, know, you need a user and a an, uh, password because uh, uh, it's, it's better to uh, uh, get authenticated. Uh, and then Leave the um, safe password, maybe, and then finish. Okay. Hmm? Okay, he's here. And as you can see, um, this is uh, at our office, uh, directly, live. Uh, here my projects and here are projects of no, personal no here's the, here are projects from customers hmm. 
now, summary, um, open perspective, uh, the CVS uh, repository uh, exploring. Um, click on your um, the, 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 the CVS, the, the, the add button. In the pop-up, fill in all the, the screens. So that's very bad. And click finish. And when the connection is uh, right, you will uh, get a display of your um, of your um, structure on your CVS uh, uh, server. Okay, now you have a database you want to connect. Um, normally, um, in, in, when, you, when you're a Java developer and you use your source control, then um, it's 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 one way, uh, it's a direct way to your source control. In uh, um, in Domino of, on the Domino server, you have an, an NSF, and it's not an it's it's it's, it's database. It's, it's, it's but it's not there are not files on the file system. So um, uh, IBM has um, pr um, made an, an extra step in between, and that makes it um, sometimes a little bit difficult to uh, understand. Uh, it's not directly to the when you uh, commit um, uh, changes. It's not directly to the CVS server. It's, it's to your um, on-disk project, your 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 flat uh, presentation of your uh, uh, NSF, and then it's um, afterwards you you need another uh, commit to the server, and then it's so it's uh, it's not. It's it's yeah it's a little bit difficult but you have to create your on disk project. Um, I will show. Okay, I go back to the Domino designer. If my mouse will be. Domino Designer. For example, um, I've uh, on uh, OpenNTF. Uh, um, this my uh, my my. Uh, I have a project, source and tech uh, con uh, tech cloud control. Um, I also want it in CVS because uh, it's nice to get uh, have it there. And um, first step, you go to team development after. When you have um, installed CV, um, um, source control connectors, is it a, CV, a CVN or a CVS, or you get um, a more um, um, in the menu. There are more um, uh, possibilities. Um, team development, for example. Um, you click on team development. Um, uh, set up uh, source control with this application. Yeah, you get a nice uh, information about um, the extra step in between. It's not a direct uh, uh, connection. You can skip it in the uh, in the future, but leave it. Um, give it a name. No. Most of the, most of the time, I will. Give it the name of the database. Um, use default location. Um, as you can see, it's in my uh, data directory. There's a workspace. There's an. It will be um, uh, created there, but it's also possible to um, store it somewhere else on your disk or somewhere. Um, on server, I think. Um, when you uh, click finish, okay. Okay. You get a progress bar. 
takes some time and uh, lots of um, uh, design elements inside. But this is a rel relative uh, small uh, database. As you can see, um, it's also switched to another uh, perspective. It's uh, the navigator perspective. And you see here, the. this is my on-disk project. And somewhere is also the presentation of the Domino of the Domino database. When you open it, you can open it. And then you see there uh, text pages. You see all your design elements there. You can also watch on the uh, on your uh, file system. You will see the same. Um, and you get an um, information about the association. It's uh, associated uh, currently with uh, Source Cloud uh, with this NSF. Okay, next step. Another right click. Then there's an uh, there's a theme um, item in your uh, project uh, in your um, menu. And you want to share the project. So you share your project. Uh, project. Um, I already have a uh, connection with my uh, CVS server. Um, the, the connection is also set up. So you will uh, uh, show um, a possibility. You can select it. But you can also create um, directly here on the fly uh, another uh, uh, connection if you forgot or something. Um, select it and say next and then he will ask um, uh, the module name for um, in your CVS you can you can click the the, the lowest um, uh, the, the, the third um, selection use existing mo module so uh, he, he takes the module name of the, what is uh, uh, on your disk and um, get a an, um, location on your CVS server. So I will give it on um, You can also here and after selection and give it an, an own <laughs> nice name. But most of the time I keep it the same. When you tick uh, this uh, checkbox, then uh, you get the name at the end. Select the location, click next, and it will create it. But it's not there. It's only the, 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 the folder in your CVS server is created, but it's not there because um, you had to commit it. You had to. Um, an extra step is also in uh, Java development. Um, as you can see here, this is the overview of um, this is the overview of all the uh, design elements who will be committed. Now, the first time it will all will be all. And um, here, um, afterwards, when you finish, click finish, um, launch the commit wizard uh, will be uh, um, launched. So. Click next. No. Um, this is an very important. Um, you can you can leave it blank when you, you and you click finish, but it's, it's very important because of um, um, it, it should be meaningful with here uh, what you write here. Um, most of a setup or initial or, or um, first um, commitment um, because uh, you can afterwards uh, when you um, Further with uh, with your um, um, when you have done more commitments to the CVS, uh, CVS server, you can also go back, and um, you get um, the C, um, you can uh, read uh, the comment the, uh, the comment of the commit, which version you can go back. So it's uh, it's it seems not important, but it's it's important.
Z. And a lot of time you see um, um, all, the, all the changes. And we click finish. Then we'll actually um, we'll be uh, um, committed to the CVS server. And as you can see here, there was an arrow. Uh, a bracket, yeah, bracket was before, and now it's uh, gone. When you switch to your, when I switch to my um, uh, CVS um, repository um, view, then I go to uh, OpenNTF, and then there he is. With all the elements inside. An other developer can check out this uh, project and make his um, um, uh, changes. Okay, in summary, you create an on-disk uh, project. That's uh, with the right click on team development and on um, setup source control. Uh, you get a helper. That's you can you can skip it in the future <coughs> if you want. Uh, new projects. I use the default uh, location always, but um, I was thinking about if it's it's convenient because um, sometimes um, sometimes uh, nodes will be crashing or will not start again and uh, to remove the uh, when you remove the workspace directory from your uh, file uh, system or rename it and then most of the time it will be um, uh, um, running again so if the workspace is a proper location I, um, maybe in the near future I will change it uh, uh, to a location um, I can control Okay, open uh, navigator. It will be automatically so. You get the uh, changes, and then you uh, r really share the project with CVS server. Now, CVS. As you can see here, when you're uh, in my old um, environment, I have uh, I, I had uh, I had uh, also uh, the SVN uh, connect connector. Connector, so when you have more, then you can select. Um, now, um, choose your uh, um, repository location and give the name. And as I said, the comment of the commit. Uh, I think it's important, but when there's nothing, you can think, okay, it's the first one. But okay, that's uh, nice. Uh, any questions? Not yet. Hmm. Uh, it's nice to set up, but um, what if there are new changes of my uh, project? Okay, let's go back to the dominant designer. New control. As you see, uh, I think in XPage development, it can always be a, a form, a few subform. But 
as you can see, this is a new, um, a new element in, in inside the database. Now you go to um, team development again. As you can see, um, it was in, in the, 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 f the step here before it was sync. When it's not associa uh, associated with an uh, on this project, then uh, sync with on this project is grayed out. So it's not, you cannot select it. Um, now you can select it. And um, it's go it goes fast. It, um, when you go to um, which is, this is the package explorer, you can find it. The package explorer is very handy, I think, for um, um, developers. Um, it's on the Windows and show Eclipse views and package explorer. Um, that's the way you can look um, um, inside the database. In Adobe Design, you can only see the uh, the node forms, the views, and uh, the, the 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 normal stuff. Um, as you can see here, uh, in the package explorer, you can also look at the Java and, well, yeah, <laughs> I think the real stuff as an XPG developer. Um, okay, as you can see, wait. no. Um, here's the, uh, on, the on this project is, um, is synced. So you go to team. As you can see, um, the project is shared um, in first step. You have um, on, uh, below, um, when you go here, then there are only um, a share project or an, another one. But uh, as you can see, uh, it, it is shared. So you can go, you can get lots of uh, uh, entries, um, choices. Um, you select commit. What? Another. Hey, it's gone. Where's my new new quest control? Okay, he's there. Team development, sync. As you can see here, at the square bracket, here. Uh, that means there are changes to commit. It's uh, very handy because of, uh, you can, Directly see if there's something to commit. Okay, you go to team and commit. Um, now you see here, um, you will see here, uh, here's uh, the new um, custom control. But the custom control in X page is uh, uh, also metadata and a config. So there are three. Uh, Files to uh, submit to the uh, or to commit to the uh, CVS uh, server. Um, nice comment. New custom <coughs> control edit. I click on finish. My error. Uh, my bracket is is gone. And um, you go to projects, you go to as you can see here is another. There's another way to um, commit the, um, the, your um, your changes. I will show. C. 
same way is you need to sync. That's the extra step. You, you, you should always perform uh, when you commit uh, uh, changes to uh, your um, source control. Um, as you can see here, it's, uh, it's again. You can, you can directly commit. You can also uh, synchronize with a repository. Then he will open. He will get an overview, um, almost the same overview. Um, but this is a very um, uh, handy um, when you're working with um, other uh, developers. Um, because um, sometimes um, there on CVS are uh, another uh, uh, additions or uh, modifications. They're not in your uh, database uh, already, so um, made by another developer. So when you um, has this overview, you will also see uh, when there are changes. Um, you see here the uh, error, uh, um, the, the, the black, yeah, blue, the error this way to CVS. But there are there, uh, changes from CVS to your database. Then uh, there will be a red uh, or a blue. Uh, it will be uh, to the left. So you can um, uh, see uh, the, the, the system will. Um, you, you don't need to, need to have to worry to uh, like uh, like replication, sort um, safe uh, safe and um, replication conflicts. Um, it will be handled uh, by the CVS uh, uh, connect connectors. But um, it's a nice overview to show what's going on in your database, and it's very handy when when there are lots of uh, well, you're not the only developer. And the same way you can uh, commit here. So there's an extra step. And you can another. And you get a message. There are no changes. Now, as you can see, another custom control. Right click, um, team development, sync with on disk. That's the that's, that's, that's very important part uh, of your uh, uh, to use source control. <coughs> Open navigator, it will be opened, and uh, there will be an, uh, an arrow, yeah, square bracket in front. As you can see, I've selected here, synchronized with the repository. Only when I, I'm on the, the, the only developer for this project, but. Um, you get every time when, 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 when there's a change to another pers perspective, uh, you get this. Um, and uh, a warning, but you can also uh, get rid of the warning. As you see here, the, another time, um, the, the, the new um, changes commit, give it a meaningful name, and it's gone. Um, get data out of the uh, source control. What's very handy is um, um, you make an, um, an empty database. You want, you, um, um, you want us, um, and the elements inside, and you go to uh, you, may, you create an, um, a database, and you get your elements from your uh, from your source control, and it's filled. So it's very handy. Um, I go to my perspective. Change. 
as you can see, you can um, you need to check out, and then he will prompt that there is an already an on disk project. Will you will you proceed? When you proceed, uh, the on disk project will be overwritten. No, um, you can go, not go back because. So it will be checked out. You can also uh, uh, tick the uh, checkbox and uh, it will be run in the uh, background, but uh, most of the time it's not, yeah, uh, it's not necessary. And I want to see what is going, going on in my domino designer and not in the background because of, uh, okay, takes. This is I go back to Domino Designer. I create a new application on my Domino server. Domino SS feed database. New feeds. Okay, it will be created. It's an empty one, with only the um, with only one view. The, the, the when I go to the um, um, team development in your um, menu, you can um, you can associate with an, uh, on this project. You already have checked out, so. Now, you can select what and some. I select this. It will be imported. Take some time, but as you can see, the database t title is uh, has changed, but the database name is still news. Uh, is not changed. It's still newsfeed, and inside there are lots of uh, all my elements are inside. So it's very yeah, uh, easy to to use. It's not um, in, a few, uh, in the past. I uh, make uh, when when something goes wrong in your database. Uh, I make a an, um, an, an copy, and then I remove uh, lots of stuff, and then um, go on. Uh, now I um, keep CVS uh, leading uh, all my changes in CVS. When something goes wrong, I remove everything from my database and re-import uh, everything from CVS, and it's up and running again. As you can see, it will work, I think. Today? Okay, any questions?
In summary, you can either choose uh, checkout uh, or checkout S, and with checkout S, you can create an own name for your project. You associate it with a project name. If there are already, uh, if you you can you saw that uh, at my example, uh, when there also already an on this project is, then uh, it will be uh, you get a warning. And when you click yes, it will be overwritten. Let's switch back to the domino designer, and right click and associate with the existing on this project. Select one, and all the elements are inside. I was thinking there was also another way to. You can also do it from um, your uh, Java perspective. When you're on this project, you can also associate with an, a new NSF or an existing NSF, and then it will be <coughs> performed the same. Uh, um, the same thing. Okay. There are the basics. There are some um, advanced uh, things because of um, you, you. Normally, you have a base project. Uh, it's your you have your project, and uh, the common, they will come. Um, you will um, maintain that project. They come. They will come a customer. In our, in our case, there's a customer. He wants uh, um, uh, customizations for his uh, company and his project. So what we do is uh, not um, make the customizations in um, in the, on this uh, in the project on CVS. We make a branch. It's, 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 it's like a, like a tree, you have the, the tree and we make a branch and um, we go on on the existing uh, uh, project and uh, the, the project still exists and will not change the base the base uh, project. And you can go for the customer on your um, for your uh, in your branch you can make the customizations and when there are some um, so it's very um, uh, convenient to. Um, uh, 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 keep track of uh, all the changes. And where there is another customer with another uh, customization request, you can make branches as much as uh, you want. Um, how do you do? <coughs> okay. I make an an expansion uh, new branch. Now branch. Now the first step. As always, you've made changes. You sync with on this project. You go to the Java perspective, and you can see there are changes. You go to Team. Now you can you can commit it directly to the to the to the base project. This time we, we, we create a branch. Uh, domino points. And he also uh, tells me start working with the branch. So um, th that's good because we go on for this customer. We go with his, uh, for this, for, for we work with this branch. 
ok when I go to the CFS perspective you see there is an there's a branch created in the br normal uh, first time I looked uh, here for the first examples but here's a branch how much And as you can see here, project. And look at the X pages. They're only the search X page. And when I look in the branch, there's also. <laughs> you had to commit it. Go to the, how we call the synchronized um, um, perspective, and you see there is a new branch. It, it is created, but the, the branch is created, but the, 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 the new changes are not committed uh, or, um, already to the branch. The same pro uh, procedure, commit a new branch. No changes. And we go to the CVS and refresh. Their new branch. It can work in this branch. You can, for this customer, for this part of the project you can work in this branch and all the changes go to this branch so it's nice I think because of the base project um, when something goes wrong in the in the, the, this branch you can also go back um, to to your your base project without losing um, your base uh, uh, um, you lose the customization for this customer but your base project will will still exist in uh, will le will be leading. As you can see, new branch sync with all, all this project as always. Um, I select a, a team and branch, fill in branch name, version name, give it a version. It will be filled in automatically. Root uh, domino point. You can make it every every name you want you wish. As you can see, it's not there, and um, the branch is there, but the changes are not yet. Go to the team synchronized uh, perspective, and same procedure, another branch. Um, it's also possible um, when you have lots of branches. Um, um, because of a branch can also get the branch. Uh, so, so you can make a whole tree uh, out of it. Um, Sometimes in, in, in a customer project, uh, based on the uh, uh, base project, uh, are some customizations. You want to uh, uh, get it back in your, uh, um, in your base project. You want to commit it. Uh, uh, there are so good uh, enhancements for this project, so you need it back. So you can merge branches. Um, right, um, go to uh, team and merge. This is also in uh, the right um, in the Java Explorer, uh, Java uh, ex, uh, the the package explorer. Select merge, and then you select a domino point. And then
stay in the air, air conflict. Wait, wait a second. Check out uh, the base project again. Then you can select a branch who want to um, get your um, uh, enhancements. Um, you see, in my branch is an X page, uh, is, an, is a design element that not in the uh, base uh, project. So get it. You can um, go here and uh, commit everything, but um, when, when you don't want all the uh, de uh, new design elements, most of the time is this the, uh, the case, um, you can also um, uh, design element by design element um, merge them. So you can also select um, this, 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 this view or this, this two subforms. Um, I want to commit to, to, to the branch. And when I do merge, there are no changes. And I go to Domino Designer. Now there are, um, the new branches in the uh, um, in my on this project, but it's not in CVS. As you can see, normally. Mm -hmm. It's not there. Because there is a square br um, bracket, an uh, arrow uh, in front. So the same uh, procedure. Um, you had to commit it to the on disk, uh, a new branch. Uh, Normally, when everything goes right, then you will have your new branch there. Okay. I will um, add the slides to this because of uh, this. Uh, I will missing. Uh, I miss. A f I miss a slide here, for your uh, steps for merging. You need to to make an other step. You can also uh, version. Uh, I see my time is up. So. Um, I found a very useful uh, link. Um, uh, CVS help. Yes, from. from 
for for our um, uh, it's, it's CVS, but um, for every every source control, there are lots of uh, help uh, files uh, uh, to find on Google or Bing or other search engines. Uh, in CVS, uh, you can. Um, it will re really good explain uh, how merge and virgining and uh, the, the advanced stuff uh, work. But I suppose that the merger uh, on new element or is possible merger uh, no, if, if, uh, if I create a new control, I can merge the new control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Merge a file? Uh, if I modify a control. Yeah. In a new branch, but I modify a control. Yeah. An existing control. In a branch. If, uh, yeah. It's possible merge. Yeah. It's already, yeah. yeah. Also possible. Yeah. Because um, the, 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 yeah, the connector will uh, see, oh, an, uh, um, you will merge this, but it's there. But what's the difference? And uh, most of the time you will see the, uh, you get a um, display. What, what, is, what is different? Um, do you want it? So um, all the connectors are very, um, 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 uh, lots of, uh, lots of uh, um, um, warnings. Do you really want it? Do you really want it? Yeah, okay. So it's, pos it's possible when you, uh, an existing, yeah, that's most of the things uh, happen when you customize it's for a customer in a branch, you customize um, an, an existing um, uh, control or view or thing. Another question. Do you try uh, rational in concert uh, or... Uh, rational? In concert. Uh, no, no. Oh. No. Um, yes, yeah, CVS is uh, uh, running uh, in our company. Um, an American expat developer um, has left, uh, has told me CVS is very old. I told him, yeah, but CVS is uh, working. So um, when we are, when it's not um, matching our uh, needs, then we will complain to my uh, boss and tell me I want a new one, uh, a newer source control. But uh, I think it's good to start with, yeah. But the nice thing in our company with CVS is uh, when I um, shut down, uh, uh, um, I do a lot of Java development for, uh, as an expert developer. And um, when I shut down uh, 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 the designer, so my Eclipse is gone. I open my, my native Eclipse client and I can also check out my, um, my notes project there, my Java project, the Java files, and then I can uh, um, modify it there. So. Yeah, for, uh, but for OpenNTF, I, I, I used uh, CV, uh, CVN, uh, S, uh, SVN. It's, it's yeah, it's also. Uh, but mo yeah, Git is hip and happening uh, currently, and the material. But now, if you have uh, any questions uh, on, on Twitter, uh, we have a blog. Uh, most of the entries are mine. Uh, it's uh, a technical blog, and um, yeah, um, I, I, uh, I've opened, uh, also an email address. So be free when your questions. When there are questions, contact me. Most of the time, I answer them. And our sponsors. Thank you.